All right. Uh, good morning, all. Uh, you will welcome back to our project for Python um, uh, Flask NestJS development. And today we want to put integrate Bootstrap into the work we have started. And uh, yes, our video is running. This is the folder of our work. And uh, I want to see the content of the folder. This is uh, what we have as our project. So I'll quickly uh, uh, change directory into it, cd into that, and then I will run npm run dev for us to see what we have on ground. npm run dev. All right. Uh, before then. We want to integrate Bootstrap into the work we are having here, into the project. Um, the first thing you do is to check on Bootstrap, Bootstrap itself as um, their website. This is the website of Bootstrap. And uh, this it has guided us that uh, we should use uh, this. As, but then let me check what NPM has. Bootstrap NPM. The NPM for Bootstrap has this NPM as a dependency because you know we are using NPM to integrate. So we're going to we'll go by this. So it's going to integrate NPM into the work. Then we check the version and see whether it is correct with what we have here. Uh, version 5.3 is the main version, 5.3.2 or 5.3.1, I think, something like that. So this, I think, it has run. Let's open into the. Let's open the work and see what we have on ground. Uh, it's just a simple something. Welcome to. Uh, I think. Uh, welcome to. But is this the project we worked on? Is it the one I show? Okay, no issue. Just let's just continue. It's so it's non nonetheless. So Python Flux NestJS web development. This is the, this is what we have on ground. All right. So the first thing you do while integrating Bootstrap is this. You you get the mp this command npm i Bootstrap. If you want it stored in your system uh, in your project. Without you having to run it anytime you want to, maybe if somebody is trying to clone it, you can add dash dash save. Dash save saves the. Um, I'm running another. Especially I should have run the. Yes. Sorry. No. 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 Sorry. Let me do away with this. Let me create another version of the. Yes, this is what I have. Stood portal, right? So uh, here, if I run this, npm run bootstrap. Sorry, npm i bootstrap. It means npm install bootstrap. Same thing. So if I want to save it in my package.json, you know, as it is now, the package.json doesn't have anything here as a bootstrap. It only has the dependencies we have already installed into it. Why is it sorry? Package the JSON. Package the JSON. Yes. So this is these are the dependencies we are having. No bootstrap is a uh, mention among them. But then here, so if I want it saved, I can now write bootstrap. I can now say dash dash what save. So it will. So let me see what's happening. I can stop this and run. Yes. Then. NPM run, run. NPM I. I means install, dash dash, save. Then I press enter. 
starts installing what? Bootstrap. If you check from the MPN here, that's what it tells you to do. You copy this and then you run it or you type it yourself. This will boost, install uh, Bootstrap what? Five for you. Yes, to install Bootstrap five for you from MPN. And this is exactly the same thing here. Uh, it's, it's going to install MPN. But the reason why I just installed MPN, I did not specify version. So it will give me the latest version. So let's see. All right, it's done. It has installed. Let's check from here. What kind of version do we have? Can you see? It is version 5.3.1. So that means we have installed. So from our guide here, already we have installed. So the next thing is for us to integrate the... For us to import the what? The uh, bootstrap... CSS VR. Since it is a CDN installation, we want to make or we want to come up with right now. Want to come up with CDN installation. If you check from the documentation, they they have given you this as a guide for the installation. So you go by if it is a quick installation, you can install your your CDN. These are the things. This C CSS. If you install this alone, it says it's okay. But then, please uh, come up here. After the installation, check from your uh, um, project folder. There is this. This contains all install modules, right? All your dependencies that have been installed, they are here. So if you check uh, carefully, you're going to see that of what? Even though sometimes you have to rerun your application. And then let's say okay good it's here bootstrap all right so please this is a very simple guide of course this is bootstrap then you go to this then you go to what css so this is what you are going to uh do for the installation to, to take uh to take place so to do that you go to uh, the first thing, oh, if you want to install the URL, uh, you go to global, global.css, and then import what? The bootstrap, the what? And import the bootstrap. CSS file so come here in the sorry let me minimize this so we expand it later produce you come to app and check on global right global the CSS you know, okay, this we have imported the Tailwind CSS, right? Yes. Yeah. So I think uh, since we are, we are going to be using Bootstrap, I don't, I don't think if this is going to... I don't think if we need it. What's happening? Go ahead, check. I think we can rather comment them, right? What's the comment over here? Someone that is uh, repairing laptop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, we can comment them. Let's comment them. Instead of deleting, right? Is it? I think better. So, then uh, here you import at import at import URL good at import URL so you pass the URL here what is the URL come to here you can pick from there you can do it from here I think it's better you check from here 
so you must have what you are doing or you just you can just pick from this this is this right Ustra this CSS okay then what and inside CSS you check for bootstrap can you see bootstrap grid not this grid but uh, bootstrap dot main dot main bootstrap grid not grid bootstrap dot main as it is here bootstrap dot main dot CSS yeah? bootstrap I think this is it right yes I'm just checking yeah this is it so this is what you do this is what you do as it is yeah the URL is this yes you start from here the what the dist css bootstrap.me this is what you do as it is you know from uh, yes bootstrap you are installing you are importing bootstrap boost bootstrap slash this slash CSS slash this is an autocomplete but the, the main is what main dot what CSS main dot what main dot CSS you have to be careful if this is not written correctly it will not work bootstrap yeah dot main dot CSS right that mean yeah that mean dot css auto complete has completed it for us so this is now the integration and that's all you need then we can now test to see whether bootstrap is in our work in our project let me close let me you know collapse it and then yeah collapse it then uh to our pages you know this is where we have something right this is where we have a work here uh, now according to bootstrap if you want to test you can check from containers here and check to see if you have something like this you can go by this container within so i can remove this or i can just introduce container here right class name there is going to be class but here class name then you call what container okay and and uh, yes Maybe if you want to know whether everything is, you can say text what? Center. So it will centralize everything within the container. So let's check from uh, where we have uh, launched our application. Let me rerun it. All right, all right, thank you. Con Hey, what's this <laughs> container right yeah okay it's not even running so you wrote npm run what yeah.
This I just expanded for us to see what's happening. Let me collapse it this way. And then I press control and what? And press. Control and click. And it's trying to. Why is it opening? Okay, it's opening in this browser. I thought it's uh, all right, it has worked. Right? It has centered it, right? So, so Bootstrap has now been what? Bootstrap has been has been what? It's been integrated and it's working. But then let's test it correctly. Yeah, let's test it. Let's test it. You know, here I have a div here. I can say class name. If I want to occupy only one side of the something I can say column and I keep quiet. If I want I can be specific, right? And then here another div. <coughs> here and maybe H1 that says Welcome to what? Huh? Okay. No, we are too fast. Welcome to what? Hey, my keyboard is strong. Welcome to Bootstrap. I save and I check. Okay, welcome to Bootstrap. But then that's not how, what I wanted. Okay? Because here I did not give it class name, right? So you see what's happening. Okay, let me do this. And for this, let me take it this way. You see, without giving it class, you know, render what we wanted, right? So now when I say class name, and I say column, I just say column. And I kept quiet. I saved. So, it's, it's, is it rendering what we wanted? I want it in two sides. All right. Let me see if giving it uh, something like column, column small, and what six. Column small and what six. Is it working? Okay, 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 sorry. I think uh, I'm the one who who haven't done the right thing here. Okay, so this is a div. This, okay, I did not give it raw. You know, it's going to arrange it in one room. So if I want it, uh, that means I will have to have another div here. I will have to have another div here. Then we will go to the documentation. I will say div. Div, sorry. Hey, what's happening with my keyboard? Div what? Right? So this should be what? Class name? Class name what? Just row. Right? Inside it, you put this. As a what? As a common, isn't it? Then here also. So it is just one common, one row. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, we wanted it in. All right, it's okay, no problem. Then the next one. As a what? As another common, I think. This is your row. Sorry, let's check from the documentation. Like something is wrong here. But then it it seems uh okay. It uh, it had worked. It's me. It's from me. 
sorry, let me be running it from here. You see, it has divided it into what? Into two. Yes, it's from me. Let me say localhost. Localhost 3000. Maybe the way I've done it is supposed not to be like that. Um, since it is in one row, of course, that's how, what it's going to be doing. Then I should have another row, right? One row in this column, one row in another column. Uh, let's check the documentation for us to do the correct thing here. The most important thing is uh, we have gotten it working. Bootstrap. Okay, documentation. Come to where's layout. Layout. I passed it. Yeah. Layout and uh, grid, right? Come to grid. Yeah. Let's start doing some things like this. We have one row. Then we have. We're going to have three different what columns. Let me erase everything there. Uh, let's start it so we don't confuse ourselves. Okay. It's like I even have one one div hanging. So as it is now, there's going to be nothing. So the first thing you do is to have a div. This div is for the container. You give it class name, not class. Container. And then what? Text center. Not necessarily text center. Maybe we do that later. Then we should have another div. This div is going to be the rule. That is a line, one rule, one line. And uh, we should have something like class name. Then we call it what? Row. Inside the row, we're going to have three different columns. Alright? And this is going to be the first thing is what? Div. This div contains what? Also class name. Let me be seeing what we are doing. Here, when you run it, it's going to be blank. Even though it wasn't saved. Sometimes the keyboard is not saved. Let me save it this way. Save all. So, class. Last name. I only see what column, and this column we now say column what? Column one. Thank you. Then you replicate it into how many? Up to three times. Then we save. CLS. I run it again. And this I will refresh. So it's running. Going to be column one, two, three, right? Mm. 
column 1, column 2, column 3. Like nothing is coming up, right? Huh? No, even, even if you mess it, take center, she walk. Go, one, two, three. All right. Let's check on the three by twelve by three is four, right? Let's say common. Let's say. Let's say four. SM4 All right, it has worked So that means I don't know like uh, common maybe please somebody should, should check or um, maybe it is uh, slow in loading or something I don't know but it has worked can you see our three columns yes so let me pick by maybe this I see BG danger Yeah, BG Danger. Who understand what I did? But don't call on the what? On the D. On the D, right? But well, can we please look up on what happened? It is at the top over there. Right? Can we introduce our paddings and margins and uh, whatever? Yes, if I say margin top 10, what will happen? This shift. Margin top, sometimes my keyboard is, uh, I don't know. Margin top, 10. Like nothing happens, right? It shifted? Let me see what happened for us to see what's really happened. Nothing. Nothing. So let's see uh, padding. Since nothing is, uh, I think it should be padding. Padding top, what? Let's say 50. Okay, like it's shifting, but not the way. Huh? Yeah, 50, thank you. Thank you so much. 50 pixels. But then, like, nothing is happening. Or. Let me see. Imagine top. Okay, pixels. Now you know the imagine top. Do we have to put pixels? I don't think. And the imagine top is not up to fifty. You know we have yeah, it's not up to fifty. It's it has gone beyond. It is all over all of it's uh, around one point five rand. So it's more than what we are actually. It's not up to. It's just twenty four. If you can recall twenty four what pixels, twenty four pixels. So we are the ones are uh, at the fault. We let's say that means if it is 24, then we can have 20, 20 pixels. Then what happened? Something is uh, 20 pixels. Uh, let's go by the five. Maybe we check the documentation for us to have something. But then something is happening here. Actually, Bootstrap have been what? Bootstrap have been integrated. If I say BG. BG primary. 
PG primary war happens, right? Then you see now, if I say BG, BG what? Dark? Success. Huh? Success. BG success, thank you. BG success. Yeah. Yeah, it is something. Uh, so the most important thing, we talk about responsiveness, right? Responsiveness. So let's see what's going to happen. If you write, if you, I think if you press Control Shift I, it will give you inspect. What inspect? If you don't know the call, the command, you can right right click and go to what inspect. So you can inspect some things here. This is a very good tool. Come to here. This I can. Can you see this? This can you see those something? Seven hundred and ten. What kind of screen is this? 710 small SM thank you so you see when it is at SM it is what you see the view has it hasn't changed and you did not did you adjust no one adjusted nobody adjusted then so this is what we call responsiveness then I can now change you know I, I have um seven hundred and ten and a half eight hundred and seventy so, so, okay, 768, right? Small. What is medium? Uh, okay, it, this is medium then. Then what, what is uh, large? 992. And I press enter. Can you see what happened? What if I turn it? I retort when I rotate. Okay, for this is something, but you know, for that 700 and 710, the screen could not be maybe square. Yeah, when you rotate, it gives you, it's like a pad. When you rotate, it gives you larger screen, large screen, right? And then, because, so this what what, what what we are talking of. The responsiveness, first of all, this is what we're talking of. The responsiveness of screen sizes. If you don't know how to do this, you can just collapse a window. You can just do away with this. Do away with it. Then you collapse a window like this. Collapse it. Then you hold it like this. Run it. Or oh, for this, like, okay, it's still at that uh, screen size, right? So remove it. So here, as you are running, can you see? It is adjusting. Can you see when it reaches uh, the smallest screen? I think uh, it's a small, small. So this is the view it will give you. And then if you collapse, if you move it like this, if you expand it, it expands, it expands and this. I'm sorry, we're going to stop here. I know it started becoming somehow very, very good. Inshallah, tomorrow we'll start developing our headers, our footers. Please dig into these things. Go in, read, and practice. We'll stop here and then we'll meet tomorrow. For Thank you.